All right, this is Craig Peru at University of West Indies, uh, Mona Campus, Jamaica. So Craig, what do you think is the importance of having Software Freedom Day on this campus? Well, Software Freedom Day is important to expose students, first of all, to free and open source software. Free and open source software can help to reduce the costs that students have to bear for software licenses. Mm -hmm. And it encourages good behaviors in terms of students not pirating software. It also encourages the future managers and employees in the Caribbean society to use free and open source software and therefore reduce the costs, the licensing costs that Jamaican enterprises and other Caribbean enterprises have to, to pay for software licenses. It also encourages a certain inquisitiveness. Rather than simply using the default of software suites, Office productivity suites like Microsoft Office, students begin to explore the other options out there, like OpenOffice. They begin to realize also that there's a whole world of software out there that can help them to do different things that they may not have been exposed to in their studies. For mm -hmm. example, using Audacity. Okay. for preparing for their presentations oh, okay. um, using GIMP. Uh -huh. uh, in the past, most of these students would have been told that the university cannot afford to provide them with Photoshop because the licenses are too expensive or with uh, Acrobat Writer uh -huh. because the licenses are too expensive. But once they, Software Freedom Day gives us an opportunity to tell them that there is a world of software out there called free and open source software and that they can go and explore and find software that meets their needs. And I think that's that's a very useful thing. So how was the experience with the uh, the flyers and CDs? Well, the CDs went like hot cakes. And, um, well, I don't know what the installation rate is, but I believe that uh, some persons would have installed the software. And given that the demand continues, we believe it was, it was worth it. So you think they're finding out that there is good software on the CD and then so tell their friends to go get some more? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah. So what are plans for next year? For next year we want to make it even bigger, much, much bigger. We want to see if we can get sponsorship from Corporate Jamaica and if we can get the university to promote it more widely. And we also expect to be able to link up with the Jamaica Computer Society and with the Jamaica Linux Seniors Users Group and to make it more than just a UWI event, to make it a Jamaica-wide event, or at least an event that permeates the, the corporate era, the Kingston Metropolitan era. All right, great. Well, all the best. We'll look forward to next year. Thanks.